Hey YouTube, today in this video we are going to do a front O2 sensor on this uh, 2G Eclipse here. So the things you're going to need obviously is the O2 sensor. This is the O2 sensor socket for getting the old one off, putting the new one on. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver and then you're going to need this anti-seize uh, stuff for the O2 when you put it back in and that's it first we're gonna start off by removing this upper hose so we can get to the plug that's hidden down in there once you take that hose out with the flathead now you can see the plug right there it's underneath where the thermostat is so we're gonna unplug that and then move on to the front. Alright, now this thing will be on a little metal little metal uh, bracket down there. I don't know if I can see it. Anyways, what you need to do, it slides on like this. You need to push down on that tab right there in the middle with the notch. And then pull this forward. Well, actually it's backwards. Pull it towards the cabin of the car once you get a baby screwdriver in there to uh, push down on that tab right there. Now we're gonna open these tabs a little bit, pull the wire loose from that, then we're gonna use the socket down there. Alright, we start off by putting the socket on like so, then you take the ratchet, put it inside the hole on the end and then uh, just use it like normal it'll break loose and come out all right here's my stock O2 sensor on the right with the new one on the left so I'm pretty sure this is what's wrong because my third party Innovate LC2 wideband is saying I'm running really really uh, lean and when I hook up DSM link it says it's running really really rich uh, it's like 12 to 1 on DSM link and then my innovate saying 14 9 15 so here is uh, the aftermarket one we're gonna take a little bit of this I don't know why they give you so much but fuck it I guess I can use some for next time put it in here push it in the threads nice and good that's probably enough. Now, you're going to thread it in by hand most of the way. And then use that socket the same way that you loosened it. Use that socket to tighten it. Anyways, put the socket on. You're going to go clockwise for those of you. If you only own a digital clock and you don't know what clockwise is, uh, they have Wikipedia. You can check it out. Um, so do this as much as possible by hand because if you start trying to use a ratchet right away you're going to be hating life because you can only go about a quarter of a turn so all right all right you just put the ratchet in set it to uh righty tighty give it some tugs you're gonna have to reset it so resetting it sucks you have to switch it back to loosen Reset your s socket, set it back to tighten, and <clears throat> right there, that's it. Alright, make sure there's no crazy twists or anything inside of this. You're going to lift up on this tab, put the line in, leave a little bit of slack, push down on the tab the same thing here push down over here push down now we're locked in now you're gonna take this slide it onto that metal bracket that's down there which is almost impossible to get a camera there and hook it back on that it'll clip into place 
then grab the wire harness which is also pain clip it in and that is the entire O2's job we put the uh, hose back on top your intake hose and uh, you should be done that's it so until next time wrench on